Hey, it's uh, Alan So Blank. In this video, I will be doing a review of the broker Trade Zero. I have been trading with that broker for a little more than a year now. I will be reviewing the free version. They have a Trade Zero Pro, but I've just been using the free version. Okay, so the main reason why you would want to use Trade Zero is if you have a small account, like under the PDT rule. So if you have less than $25,000, that broker will give you an option to start short selling and uh, have access to hard to borrow uh, stocks and so overall that's the main reason why I chose them because other high-end brokers uh, that they might have cheaper locates than trade zero but uh, the initial amount you need to fund the account is like for some of the other ones uh, I heard, uh, I think, like Centerpoint, and I forgot some of the others, but some of those you need like 30,000 or 50,000. So right now those aren't options for me. And so overall for a year, if you saw my last YouTube video, you'll know that once I funded my account with Trade Zero, I was able to quadruple my account in a year so overall it's enough if you just want to try to short sell you'll be able to still be profitable sometimes their locates can get expensive and sometimes if they're too expensive i just don't short at all uh, but overall it's uh, you can be profitable uh, and uh, Yeah. Okay, so now what else? Uh, oh, so something else I should mention is that so now with the charting, so on the web free version, they do have, you can obviously see the chart in real time. And uh, you'll have to pay if you want to see level two. Uh, that won't be included, but I think you can add that for like 10 or 20 dollars a month uh, i forgot but what i've uh, what i usually do so my current setup is i'll have trade zero open on my laptop oh and also i'm not sure but i think with the trade zero platform you need a windows computer it might not work on the imac i use a windows computer Okay, so normally when I'm looking at a stock, I'll have Trade Zero open on my Windows laptop. And then on my phone, I'll have a five minute chart of the stock that I'm looking at. But also I use um, Thinkorswim. So you can open an account for free with Thinkorswim. And I think you don't even need to fund it with any money. And then you'll have access to the charting platform for free. And so for listed stocks, you'll be able to see the level two for free on Thinkorswim. And so that's sometimes uh, what I do. So I'll have Thinkorswim open on my laptop also. But uh I'll also have uh, the Trade Zero platform. Okay, so let's see now. So for the execution, uh, it's mostly good. I'm not really like a speed, much of a speed trader. I normally I make uh, my entry decisions while looking at the five minute chart and then I'll decide to enter. 
Uh, sometimes I'll enter just looking at the one minute chart. I'd say overall the execution, it's pretty solid. There's only been a few times where I would complain about the execution. Uh, so anyway though, now like, so I have the American version, they used to only be international. So I'm in the US, so I'm under the PDT rule. And so on the web, when you log in, uh, something uh, that's kind of annoying for just the web version is that uh, you have to log in and then you'll uh, you'll see the website of Trade Zero, but then to access the web free version, you need to go somewhere on the website and also sign in again. So it's like you have to do two sign-ins and enter your password twice before uh, you can trade when you're using the web. Um, and uh, so for the most part, if you want to short low float stocks that kind of form like overextended gap ups, Trade Zero is good for locating those hard to borrow shares. I will say though that you should normally wake up like uh, and try to locate like 30 minutes before market open or even 45 minutes. If you wait till after market opens, uh, sometimes it'll be like you won't be able to locate the shares or they might start getting ridiculously overpriced. And uh, so yeah, so normally I'll get up and I'll locate like 30 minutes before market opens and most of the time I'll be able to find all the, I'll be able to locate the stock that I want to short. Uh, but sometimes uh, once in a while there's no shares to borrow and uh, yeah so that's my review of the trade zero so also I guess I could mention like let's say if you want to buy stocks but you don't want to short sell I wouldn't really recommend using trade zero Oh, and also another thing with the short selling trade zero specializes in shorting stocks uh, above a dollar. So if you want to short stocks under a dollar trades, uh, you'll want to use another broker then. And so now something that I learned that it's kind of a con with this broker also is that um, uh, when you start, they uh, so you only need though 2500 for the American version to fund the account, but they start you with like a max share limit, I think, of like 5,000 shares. And so, let's say, like with buying, if you want to buy stocks and like go all in or bet 50% of your account and uh, and let's say like maybe you have like around five like ten thousand or so and you want to bet five and the stock uh, or let's say you know if you want to buy like a dollar stock or it might be under a dollar you want to buy more than five thousand shares at first you might have to email the broker to increase your max share limit and so now since um like now, like at 10,000, I had to email customer support and say, I don't want any share size limit. I want to be able to buy as many shares as I want or short as many. But they just ended up saying like, oh, with my account size now, the 
they agreed to increase my max share size by 10,000. And so that's something that uh, I noticed like with other brokers, they don't have a max share size like that. But obviously if I end up uh, sticking with Trade Zero, and I grow my account and have like a really big account, um, I'm obviously gonna say like they either have to make me have unlimited share of size or you know I'll switch brokers. Okay, so anyway though, that's my review of the stock broker. So I would say if you don't want to short sell, then I wouldn't recommend using Trade Zero. But if you want to short sell and you have a small account, and if you're in the US and uh, you're under the PDT rule, Trade Zero is a good option for short selling with a small account and you'll most of the time have be able to locate those hard to borrow shares okay that's it for this video goodbye